we will have a civil war. We have independence faction. We have uh, Mubalari populists. We have uh, we have this guy here. Um, who is that? Who is that? What the fuck? So these two guys want them on the throne. Um, we have Catholic populist. We have Italian Bogomilis populist. We have Liberty faction. We, oh Jesus Christ! Hello everyone, I'm Boiler and I welcome you to episode 57 of Crusader Kings 3. Yeah, so, uh, well, let's see where we want to expand today, shall we? Now, um, first I uh, want to show you something else. Uh, we seem to have a faction that is, yeah, I mean, they're close. They need 80%, they're 72, so, yeah, they're close. So, uh, this seems to be the most powerful member, but he also very much dislikes us, so I'm not really sure. And his wife looks very similar to our own, apparently. But yeah, uh, he um, yeah he dislikes us quite a bit, so I don't know if we can uh, change his mind. But this guy does like us a little bit, so maybe we'll be able to sway him. But we need to we need to keep an eye on that. It might be a problem. We should be fine though. I mean, as long as they're just around eighty percent, we have we have so many troops. It don't it doesn't it doesn't really concern us. But yeah, I don't want to fight a civil war right now. It's just I have other I have other ambitions here. So um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll take care of those. So what do we have? We have a prisoner. We can ransom for ten gold. Uh, why is she even in here? Yeah, we'll, we'll ransom her. Uh, I could actually ask the uh, Pope for money. I would spend some piety. Hmm. How much does he like us? He does like us a, a little bit, so... Yeah, we don't really need that. So we'll lose some land somewhere. What's that? What is that? That's just a little bit up there. Don't really care about that. I can declare wars, obviously. I can create titles. Uh, Duchy of Seville and Duchy of Caressia, which is both of which I don't want to create right now. Uh, except... What are you guys doing? Peasant Revolt, okay. Um, except we have an heir that is on, uh, who is on land, which might be not uh, too good of an idea. He's a drunkard. Uh, which is not good. Uh, does he have a... He doesn't have a son. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's not good. He's only quick. Do we want him as our heir? No, we don't want him as our heir. So let's see. We we have to figure out our succession anyway. I mean, the guy is 53 years old. Um, he did have a little bit of a problem with obesity. And I'm not sure how long he will be around. So... Actually, let's have a look at our succession here. So uh, how do how are we doing? We are losing two titles. We have these two guys um, Yes, and then we will lose the Kingdom of Aquitaine and the Kingdom of West Francia, which is a considerable chunk of what we of What we owe now, of course, they will still uh, bow to the Emperor So we will not lose territory in that sense, but uh, we will lose direct control That's that is what bothers me so let's have a look. Can we disinherit this guy? So we already have a son who is a king. We have King Philip of Valencia, uh, who is actually a genius. Um, so he he would have been he would have been a great heir actually. Who do we have here? Do you, are you? You are a genius as well. And what the hell is going on with this guy? He's a fornicator. <laughs> he has a he has a daughter who is imprisoned. <laughs> oh, okay, that's the one we ransomed. Is it the one we ransomed? I don't know. Uh, don't you have? Don't you have a wife? Because actually, I want him to be. Uh, I want him to be our heir. I mean, he's awesome. I mean, this guy is is is, is great as well. But just look at this guy. I mean, okay, he doesn't have terrible, great uh, learning, but he's really great at martial. He is fairly good at intrigue and he has a fantastic uh, prowess. Um, let's have a look at the other guy. He has very low prowess, but he's very well balanced. Okay. But he already has the Kingdom of Valencia, so we don't want to give him more. Um, so, 
do we have any more sons? We have King Hartman of Navarre. He's only quick. We don't need him. Uh, then we have Prince Victor of Bern. He's only quick. And uh, then we are... Yeah, that's a princess. So you probably have a wife. Yes, you do. Uh, you are 18. You, you need a wife as well. So let's sort out our family here. So this guy is a drunkard. And he's only quick. He's absolutely terrible. I don't want him as our successor. Can we disinherit? Can we disinherit him? Um, hostile. Disinherit. Dynasty head interaction. Remove Charles Geraldonen from the list, line of succession. Uh, he will lose opinion, but it will only cost us some prestige, of which we have a ton, and a little bit of renown, which we can afford. Yeah, I have disinherited him. So he still likes us pretty much, but um, yeah. So let's see what that did to our succession. Probably not much. Now this guy gets Valencia. Okay, yeah, I, uh, I expected as much. <laughs> um, no, he gets uh, he gets um, um, West Frank. Yeah, this guy gets. Uh, Aquitaine and this guy is our primary heir. Okay, so this is this is one of the good guys. Uh, as I said, he is pretty good. He doesn't have uh, really good uh, stewardship, but who is this guy? So he's only good. He's pretty terrible. We don't want him to be anything. And this guy, now he would actually be the best guy. I mean, he has poor prowess, but other than that. Phew, Jesus Christ, I mean, this is great. This isn't too bad either, but... So what is that? Vassal opinion minus five. Vassal opinion minus five. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, Catholic opinion and we are Catholic <laughs> Empire. I don't... I don't think so, actually. And who... Oh, uh... So what's that? Callus? Uh, he's a cold-blooded. Uh, he's deceitful. Catholic opinion, minus 10. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, he's even worse. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, okay, so he's, 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 I think, the best option we can get. He's 28. Uh, we'll need to find him a spouse. So he's our primary heir. That is all right, so... Yeah. Okay. We'll 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 find a, a spouse for you. And so let's let's have a look here. So we will have maximum age thirty five. Yeah, thirty five is okay. Age difference. Don't care. Adult. Yes, please. Uh, fertile, definitely. And then. Um, okay. Let me just uh, shut down my phone. It's. So, it's a little bit uh, annoying. So, and then uh, health, uh, healthy, of course, uh, religion, Christian, uh, Catholic, actually. Culture, Swabian, uh, trades, inheritable, if possible. Uh, I don't care about alliances, uh, ruler, uh, not a ruler. Dynasty, I don't care. Climbs, <laughs> I don't care. So let's see what we find here. Uh, let's sort by age and let's find... Oh, actually, it's that's all we got here. So we have Katharina, uh, Katharina von Württemberg. Uh, we don't want Fecund. I mean, he is already fornicator. <laughs> um, now, obviously, we don't want her because, yeah. Uh, we have Comely. Um, then we have her. She's pretty. Gluttonous. Well, I don't know. I mean, she's a little bit younger, so the chance for children is higher there. This is a daughter. Uh, on the other hand, we don't want too many children. That might be a problem. Um, who else do we have? We have intelligent. You are a genius. You are intelligent. Uh, pretty as well. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Impatient. Generous. Actually, let's get her. Let's get her. They are related. How are they related? Yeah, I don't care. I mean, we have... Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Send proposal. And then the question remains, do we give him some land to govern over uh, until he can actually inherit? 
So uh, we own some stuff down here, I think. Well, let's see. We do own some stuff. Um, let's see. So that's our main stuff up there. Don't we? Yeah, we own this stuff down here. Um, that is all um, part of the Duchy of Seville, yes. Then we could actually create the Duchy and give this to our main heir. That wouldn't be too bad. So, um, yeah, he will inherit this anyway. So uh, we will actually do that. We'll go ahead and do that so he can uh, train himself a little bit down there. So, uh, uh, where, where is it? Uh, give uh, grand titles. Um, oh, actually, I need to uh, create the title first. So, um, Duchy of Seville, we have the gold and we get our 300 prestige back that we just uh, lost from disinheriting our, uh, our heir. So, uh, we can now give this to our new heir. Um, so, grand titles, uh, the Duchy of... Okay, so, oh, yeah, so now we can grant that. He can have all of that because he will be our prime, uh, our, uh, our heir, so that uh, will work. So he will obviously love us very much for that. Yep, he accepted the marriage and now he has a wifey and every, everything is all right. So, okay, that is not fantastic, but it is okay. So, yeah, we still have the same damn situation here. So we will lose two kingdoms, but yeah, my my uh, plan is uh, once succession has happened, I will just, I will just um, get it from them somehow. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Uh, so we have the Kingdom of Navarre down there, which is already given away. Yeah. So uh, where do we want uh, to conquer more lands? What is what is that here? What is that? What can we do here? Declare war. We can declare war uh, for the entire duchy. Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, we can't do this one, uh, but we can do this. And this will add quite a sizable chunk to our uh, territory. Uh, we will not... What is that? Hmm. What is that? I don't know. So, okay, whatever. Declare war. Declare war. And where do we want to raise our army? Well, that is too far away, actually. Or do we want to do it here? Yeah, we'll, we'll want to do it here. Raise local army, that should be enough. That should be quite enough. So, um, yeah. Obviously, that will take a little while to assemble. Enemy ally joins war with... <laughs> His ally with two soldiers just uh, joined. The war, oh Jesus Christ, I'm trembling here. I am absolutely trembling here, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So we constructed something in Zurich, we'll uh, have a look at that, obviously. <clears throat> so we are still working on the administrator. Um, monthly tyranny minus, okay, that's useful if we want to incur some tyranny. So Zurich constructed something, so we can now upgrade something else. Tax and garrison, um, tax and levies. I actually want to upgrade this. Tax and levies. Do we? Can we upgrade something else? Um, no, we are still building in Bern. Uh, we are still building in Besancon. We are still building in. Yeah, okay. That is okay. So we can uh, just ignore that. So. <clears throat> we'll then wait for our army. To recruit itself and then once it did we'll uh, send it over there holy order higher yeah whatever i don't care about that i don't need the holy order um i mean i could i could use it obviously but um as it stands uh we are fighting in northern africa so it would take too long for the holy order troops to get here because they um oh jesus christ my brother died oh yeah, because they uh, somehow spawn at our capital and then need to uh, ship over there. So I gained the stress level. Um, that is not good. Because my brother died. 
Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, we'll just... It, well, for the moment, we can't take it. Too busy. Oh, actually, we get an option to re reduce it. So, by God, petitioners from the realm have been queuing up lightly. This work feels endless. Yet another one steps forward, evidently a distressed merchant of some kind. I'll get to your problems in a few weeks, but you are not important enough for anything faster. The merchant gobs at me, blinking rapidly in shock. What is... Was it something I said? So maybe a new cloak would make me feel better. I'm going for a ride now. Um, I'm the Kaiser, I can do this. So this will not do. I'm going for a ride, uh, for a ride. Uh, oh, I will definitely do that. I mean, it's that is minus uh, 35 stress as opposed to 10 and it will not cost me anything. So I'll definitely do that. You gain the trade athletic, reduce stress level. Oh, that is great. Sway, nef nefarious plotting. My lord, my vassal, Duke Simon has ended all conversation with you. Why? Seeing my sudden interest and the amount of correspondence as a sign of nefarious plans, it appears as if he is under the impression that I am plotting against him. I was just trying to make a good impression. Oh. I was swaying the guy. Yeah, now... Okay, that's... I mean, we had a 95% uh, success chance and uh, now the 5% probably <laughs> kicked in. So, yeah, that's that's the way it is. Uh, which gives us a chance to actually uh, start swaying one of these guys. These guys. So, I think we have a better chance of trying to sway him. Um, okay, so... We'll sway this guy. Start scheme. They are really close now. They are really, really close now. Oh, jeez, guys. They all don't like me. Um, If I send him a gift. 60 opinion. That will not do. If I send this guy a gift. I mean, how much percent is that? That's 11%. He does like me a little bit. Send gift. 42 opinion. Uh, it doesn't cost me much, so I will actually I will actually do that. I will bribe him, and I will also sway him at the same time. Uh, this is the uh, Duke Baldwin of Barcelona, so that means, yeah, hopefully that will do the trick. Yeah, so the enemy army is right. Yeah, if you want to call this an army, uh, it's right there. So now the question of course remains, what are they doing? They are now walking in that direction. Uh, no, that's not the enemy army actually, that's something else. So we'll send our troops over there. I don't know where the enemy army is. Where is it? Where is the enemy army? I have no idea. Neighboring ruler lost war, lost war, yeah whatever. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh. Supply limit. Well, our army is much higher than the supply limit in there, but... Um, yeah, whatever. So, uh, let's... Well, this siege will progress really fast. Really, really fast. So, I want to look at something. Um, create... Do we have... Yeah, we can. We have on augers, mangronels. So, we have on augers. Uh, what is the difference? Uh, what the hell? Yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll have a look at that afterwards. So, um, we could create new men at arms regiments with better stats than the ones we have. So, we actually. Uh, prisoners taken siege? Yeah. So, let's have a look at that. Um. So we have on uh effective up to 4th level 5, so mangronels are better, obviously. So we constructed something in burn, so we'll have, we'll have a look at that, burn. Uh, we constructed something here and that means we can construct something else. This is garrison, this is tax, uh, we'll upgrade the tax one first. 
because we need more money we always need more money so we uh, have taken a prisoner is this the enemy army this is the enemy army actually so let's let's see if we can fight them so now they're going up there which means we also go up there yeah do we have another yeah this this is this also belongs to them so maybe we'll have to siege that as well uh yep that should be that should be doing it i mean we have 78 and we'll win this battle that should be enough yep it is so quickly enforce our demands or not now we can enforce our demands so be it so disband all troops at once and we'll just we'll just hang on to this for now uh we have we are within our domain limit schema discovered my spy master has come to me with grave news it is my son charles has plotting against my patriarch kotar okay i mean we once have a a really good patriarch and someone tries to kill him of course the blathering fiend so this guy can we imprison him what will happen Oh, that is not that will that no no that will not do. We'll just leave him. We'll, we'll just leave him be. <laughs> so how does it look? Well, burn in North Africa. It will be my pleasure. Uh, feast in Kur. Yeah, we'll definitely go to Kur. So we constructed something in Beal. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Every guest is gathered in the great hall, and our gracious host, Countess Helene, has welcomed all. Has welcomed. Has welcomed us all to the feast. Yeah, so um, we did uh, something in Beal. So what do we have here? Um, we'll build the tax one, of course. Always the tax one, so. Knight improved. Mayor Flame. Coops constructing Neuchatel. What do we have? Troubled acquaintance. The pleading gaze I received from my acquaintance, Hildeburg, is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner she has hidden all evening, and the walls are hindering her escape. To think a unlanded would act in such a way. I will distract the converging guests. Um, actually, I need opinion. Uh, people don't like me very much, so... Uh, I will be I will do the cruel thing because I need the opinion boost. I mean I don't really like her that much, so tell us a story please. Uh, sway pushing uh, pushing luck. I finished reading a lot of the latest letter from my cousin Duke Baldwin and smile. He seems to have warmed to me at last. While this is a success, I'm tempted to use this opportunity to try and get even closer. Time to my, to put my diplomatic skill to the test. So we might gain twenty or lose ten. This is victory enough. How much does he like me now? Well, if he loses 10, it's not too bad. If he gains 20, it's actually pretty awesome. Yes, it worked! Plus 20. Now, if he if he doesn't leave the faction, I don't know. Feast at home. Oh, there's nothing like a feast. It reminds us all of us all of what is good in life. And the company's not too bad either. At least those seated close to me seem to think so. You're something special, Gerard, Countess Helena tells me. Ekbert and Count Voislav nod their heads in agreement. Yeah, that is fantastic. He's about to leave court. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, he will soon leave. Can I give something? Designate, educate, ask to take the woes. Can I? Uh, will not accept. No, he will not accept. So what, what has happened? Uh, ransom, empty council position. What the hell? Um, okay. Ransom. They want to pay me 50 for Duchess Odella of Flanders. Why do I have her? Oh, because she's an adulterer. So yeah, yeah, it's okay. 50 gold. It's always, I uh, always take the money. So we have no steward apparently. Um, So let's see who's the best steward we can get. So we have a 19. She's a Duchess. She does have a few troops. She doesn't like us too much. Uh, then we have this guy. Uh, with uh, 17, <laughs> he doesn't have too many troops, so yeah, actually we'll, we'll take her because, um, yeah. Uh, what are you doing? You're increasing development. Yep, that's what you can keep doing. 
Um, yes, so victory, yeah, I know that. Uh, let's have a quick look. Returning home, yeah, farewell, my vassal. No, I don't have any stress left, that is great. Uh, we have a few prisoners, Jesus Christ. So let's see if we can get some money from them. Yes, we can. Uh, from this guy, we cannot get money, but we can get a conversion. Uh, no. Uh, conversion, yes. Uh, 10 money, yes, I'll take it. Uh, 25 money, we'll have to wait. Uh, the hell? Yep. Yep. For well, ransom accepted. So, what else do we have? This guy, he is considering. Uh, then we have this guy, uh, we need to wait. And then we can ransom him as well. Then we have this guy, will demand conversion. Then we have uh, her, she can convert. Then her, uh, convert as well. Uh, no, convert. <clears throat> no, convert. No, convert. <clears throat> uh, no. Convert. 30 gold, yes. Um, then we have... Oh, this guy. Uh, this is just the guy who... Yeah, that's this guy. So we'll leave him there. Uh, what is going on down here? So uh, convert. No, she won't convert. And this is the other guy who won't convert. Yes. Uh, money, still not an option. Okay, we'll just leave you there then. Yeah, and now we get a lot of faction created against me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? Ransom accepted. Ransom. Yes, 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 yes. That's great. All of you just go. And yeah. <clears throat> so what else? Uh, we are invited to a feast by the nude guy. Okay. Uh, it will not be my pleasure, but I will come anyway. Um, no, uh, scrap that. I will go anyway. Uh, yeah. So every guest is gathered in the great hall and our... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the usual stuff right there. So while this feast is going on, I try to figure out what I want to conquer over here. Um... Delightful. What is what kind of meat is this? So rich in flavor. What are these vegetables? Almost sweet. Oh, and these wonderful little desserts. Yeah, so he's he's eating up again and his belly is growing. That is not good. Um <clears throat> he's not obese at the moment, but he might get back to that. So feast in awe. Um, why are you just wearing a shirt? After eating next to each other for a while, I must have said something particularly intelligent because Count Franz uh, complimented me on how clever I was. In response, I smile intellig intelligently back at my fellow scholar before I get occupied with the grease running down my chin. Uh, I do say some clever things, uh, things sometime, uh, at times. You can scholarly confidence. If it, oh. Okay. So he's apparently... Why is he wearing a shirt? I don't know. So we get actually a bad thing from this. Uh, yeah, so can we declare war on him? As Count, Fran uh, uh, as Count Francis' eyes widen at my words, I realize what I have just said about Duke Berengar. I struggle to push my tank away. I have had too much. I try to get up, wobbling a little. Don't trust a word I say. What have I done? Okay, yeah, whatever. Now, let me just have a quick look here. Um, we can actually declare war. That is an option for us. So, let's finish this feast and then let's consider that. Notable guest has arrived. Feast, returning home. What a feast, I will remember the days. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is this feast done. So... Uh, what about our faction here? I'm a little bit worried about that. But yeah, they lost the member. Yeah, the other guy dropped out. Yes. So we'll uh, we'll target the next guy once we are uh, once we are done with uh, with swaying uh, this guy a little bit more. Actually, do I need to sway this guy more? I mean, he's almost at 100. Um, I think we can. 
no, actually, we'll, we'll let this finish, and then he will be at 100, and we uh, we can um, turn our gaze elsewhere. So, Dochi titles. <clears throat> I would like to uh, complete the Dochi of Seville, actually, but let's see what we can do here. So, declare war. Um, holy war for Dochi. So, what, what options do we get here? So, we get... Uh, this one, I don't want this. So change objective. Uh, what about Dochi of Seville? This will give us two. Uh, then we have this little bit up there, and that's actually three. I mean, we have two over here, uh, but this is a whole Dochi with three, uh, with three uh, counties in it, which is actually a cool thing. Okay, so I think, I think we'll go for that one. Vastly inferior, yeah, declare war. Um, I will do that. Okay, so can we hire the Holy Order? Um, so these are not available, these cost piety. Uh, I don't want that. Um, no, I don't want that. So let's let's um raise um. <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, raise the local army right there. And then we need some more troops. Can we raise this local army as well and send them over to help? Probably we should, we should be able to do that. <clears throat> so this army can go over here and help these guys out. That should be enough. It's almost 10,000 men, so I don't think we'll have a problem there. Um, actually, you can uh, you can meet up here in the middle. Uh, you don't need to uh, run all the way over there. This is actually the enemy army right there. So you meet up there and crush these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually that's great. I mean, we can crush these guys and then immediately march onto their capital. Um, yeah, that should that should work. I think so. Ten thousand troops merge these guys and go kick their asses. So that should uh, that should work out just fine. <clears throat> yeah, and they're getting attrition up there, uh, which is great. So once we get there, they will have faction created against you. What the hell? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're doing fine. So um, so they try to march up there, which we will obviously not allow. And now the question is, who is faster? We will be faster, so uh, we will kick their ass, and <laughs> quite thoroughly, uh, I might add. So, yeah. Yep, we completely crushed their army, so... Uh, how many how many men did they men did they lose they oof, they lost about half their half their strength and they just lost a few hundreds <laughs> hundreds so yeah great so uh, not a problem at all and now we'll go and uh, see lay siege to their capital and that should do it oh fuck oh fuck. That couldn't have come at the worst time. Oh, Jesus Christ. We are in the middle of a war. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I will continue as Kaiser Heinrich. And I will immediately pause the game. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dynasty head has changed. Duke Ivo became... Well, uh, why? How? What the fuck, Gulo? That is not good. I joined the war, yeah, whatever. So our glorious Kaiser has bit the dust. Oh, Jesus Christ, this will be a problem. So let's immediately um, sort this out. So we need a lot of new um, counselors. Oh, they all, don't, they all don't like us. So let's see who is the best. Uh, guy we can get here. Who is the most powerful guy we can put in there? So he has 2,000 troops. He has almost 6,000 troops. Uh, 8,500. How good are you at diplomacy, actually? Are you good at anything else? You you are a really good spy master, actually. Let's get this guy as a spy master. Uh, yeah, let's definitely get this guy as a spy master. So we'll, we'll put him in there. 
Then we go back to here and we'll have another look at uh, diplomacy. So the best guy for the job is this one. And he has quite a few troops, so we'll probably get this guy. Yeah, oh, uh, this guy is already our spy master, no problem there. Um, this, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, do we see how many troops he has? 10,000, okay, that might be a problem. Um, okay, okay. Um, let's see, How are you good at anything? You are decent at many things, but not really great at anything. So this guy needs to be a piece as well, so I will probably take him as a chancellor. So we need a marshal, what, who can we get? Who can we get? So this guy, he has almost 6,000 troops and he's a fantastic marshal. Um, we have quite a few nudists, <laughs> this, is, this is insane. So he, we need to give him something. Um, but I want a good marshal here. How about the stewardship? So we have her, 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 then him. Um, he's... Okay, we can give the other guy the stewardship. Where is he? Where is he? So this guy. This guy, this guy can be our steward. It will be alright. I mean, we need to give him something. I mean, he will just uh, hate us if we don't. So then, uh, again, we'll need the marshal, uh, 22. This guy, uh, yeah, he has quite a few troops, we'll, we'll assign him there. Okay, we are over realm size, so we need to give something away. Um, actually, I think, do I want to keep this? Or do I, I want to give this away, I mean, it's some African uh, stuff over here. So, we'll grant this to someone, um, just have to uh, look at whom. Okay, relation, I don't care. Um, gender, male. Actually, can I... So, grant to... So, um, male, then adult. Uh, yeah, adult, please. Maximum age. Uh, I don't care much. Uh, dynasty. All. Uh, ruler, no ruler. Religion, Catholic, culture, Swabian. Hooks, I don't care, and claims, if possible, no claims, please. Uh, could we give this to our brother? Why actually not? Actually, why, why, why not? Why can't we? Is this a good thing to do? Well, actually, I would. I mean, he likes us uh, already, but uh, we could give him that. Or we could give this to him here. Um, confident knight, intelligent, deceitful, content, world, and skill tactician. Um, okay, you get this and this grand titles. Um, then I will also give him the dodgy, which I probably can create. Um, uh, or not. Uh, let's have a look. Dodgy titles. So. Oh, we don't, uh, we don't all, uh, we don't own all of it, so we can't really give the dodgy title to him right now. So, yeah, this this will be all right. Yeah, we have a dangerous faction. I, uh, I assume as much. So, what, what can we, what can we do here? So, what do we need? We need diplomacy because this will help us with, uh, with our vassals. So, diplo diplomacy, um, or I'm not really sure actually <laughs> so let's oh Jesus Christ let's sort this out so we have quite a bit of money uh, which is okay um, we can then hire um, hire mercenaries if need be um, oh Jesus Christ how, how oh Jesus Christ we will have a civil war we have independence faction, we have uh, Muvalari populists, we have uh, we have this guy here. Um, who is that? Who is that? What the fuck? So these two guys want him on the throne. Um, we have Cather populist, we have Italian Bogomilis populist, we have Liberty faction. We, oh Jesus Christ. 
Oh, this is terrible. Yeah, he looks he looks a, bit, a little bit distraught. <laughs> he looks a little bit distraught because I I am distraught as well right now. That is not good. We need we need money. Can we? Um no, we cannot currently ask the pope because he doesn't like us probably. Uh yeah, he does like us actually. Why can't we ask him for for gold? Um yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, too many health duchies. Burgundy, Transuravnia, and Duchy of Seville. Oh, actually, yeah, I didn't think about that. Um, I need to give this away then. Um, I need to give this away. Um, okay. Uh, okay okay to whom do i grant this seville and cadiz i will grant to let me see you already have something no oh actually yeah i will, I will grant it to him grant to this guy uh duchy of seville and uh Godis these two and then I will give this to someone else grant titles okay and then this I will grant to I don't know who, who can have this uh, someone my brother-in-law oh, why what the hell okay now you can have something else at some point um so let's grant this to Matthias zu Schwaben. <laughs> um, do you have no? Um, who else can we give this? Yeah, this guy. This guy, you can have that. Uh, grand tiles. You are. You don't look Swabian to me, but how are you Swabian if you are colored? What the hell? Yeah, anyway, so grant. So this cost me a few troops. We have very few troops, actually. Uh, I will not be able to uh, take anything away from anyone right now. Um, so we will have a civil war. There's just absolutely... There's no question about that. I do have very, very good marshal. We don't need to do something about that. Uh, diplomacy could actually really help. So let's see what we can do here. Um, what is this? What can we get? Opinion gain from send gift. Oh, that could help. Sway scheme, monthly prestige per threat. Um, we can befriend scheme. Uh, children receive no. Um, plus five prestige, uh, monthly prestige, uh, offer civilization acceptance. We don't need, and you can take it. Okay, level of fame impact, diplomacy per level, uh, and then we get the August uh, at the end, uh, which is pretty cool, but... Hmm... Diplomacy per level of fame, that is, that's actually quite powerful. Um, so what else? Oh, rationalization, acceptance, yeah, um, what's that? Opinion gains from Zen Gift, and we have title creation cost, uh, foreign affairs effectiveness, Fellow vassal opinion, independent ruler opinion, we don't need that one. Um, vassalization castle spell eye, oh that's actually cool. Short truces and no prestige point for breaking them, each alliance grants, yeah whatever. Fabricate claim, speed and then we get the diplomat trade at the end which is independent ruler opinion, personal scheme power. Um, independent, okay, diplomacy plus three. Oh, so that one, that one is cool. But, Jesus Christ, the first one is great, but then it's just, the August obviously is very powerful. Diplomacy, martial prestige, uh, level of fame impact, diplomacy per level of fame, commission epic, uh, offer civilization acceptance, Monthly prestige per night, monthly prestige per threat, scheme power, um, monthly prestige per powerful vassal on the council. That's actually not bad, the August thing here. 
So what we want is um, we want this one plus plus three diplomacy. Select and then we'll go down the August trade. Hopefully that helps a little bit. So uh, what else can we do? Do we want to make uh, to to uh, to hold a feast? Okay, uh, couldn't the other guy have waited with dying? I mean, okay, we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll finish this. Uh, we will not waste money on um, on uh, gifts. We will faction has disbanded. Whatever. Yeah, we have we have quite a problem. Faction created against me. Actually, let's take the um, hold a feast. What will this cost me? We can... Yeah, we'll definitely do that. I mean, it, it can help. It can help. We need everything. Welcome, friends. Yeah, they are not my friends, but <laughs> whatever. So... Fourth level is too high. Yeah, we definitely need, we definitely need the better uh, the better siege equipment. Meadows constructed in Zurich, a laudable effort. As the feast is done is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, Elizabeth approaches Benoit and me at the great table. This is a marvelous feast. All my compliments to the hosts. Okay, so uh, I, how much do you like me? Uh, you deserve all the uh, credit. Direct vassal opinion? Yes, 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 yes. She deserves all the credit. <laughs> we did everything that gives us opinion. Dynasty head changed. Yeah, now I am the dynasty head. Feast uh, in my house. Oh, what is that? I did everything I could, ensuring that Duke Ayo and Duke Heilwick would be as far from each other as possible. It was not enough, and now they have come to blows in the middle of my feast. One of my guards is close to the brawl and looks to me for the uh, order to intervene. So, who are these guys? He is completely insignificant, and... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So, do I have an option to, um, to actually appease him? Throw Helwick out to cool off. Retain Ivo until things... Oh, no. Wait, he will talk about... We will talk about this later. Uh, do I need the prestige? Not necessarily, but, but this guy is really powerful. If I can... If I can... Uh, you know, uh, if I can improve his opinion of me, that will be great. Notable guest. Yeah, we, we have a dangerous faction. With Notable guest. Yeah, whatever. Feast as my guests depart. With everyone headed for their respective homes, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife Benny to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last few guests off. So, that hopefully helped a little bit. Um, we need to finish this, Jesus Christ. So, we have a siege going on somewhere, apparently. Empty council position, my... Oh, this guy died. And uh, now his, uh, this guy is his heir. Are you good at anything? Um, let me see. So we need to go to the council. We need to have a new chancellor. So who is good at chancelling? Um, this guy, but he's also, he's already our spy master. Well, can we, do we have someone else who's good as a spy master? Let me see here. Um, uh, he's not bad, but he doesn't have many troops, so it doesn't really matter. This guy's already employed. Um, yeah, he's actually decent. Let me have a look at this guy. Uh, you are a terrible steward, so we'll, we'll, we'll not make that change. So, again, who can we have as our uh, chancellor? Um... So this guy doesn't have many troops, this guy doesn't have many troops, this guy is already employed. This guy doesn't like me, but it doesn't matter. Then we have this guy. Are you on my council right now? You are not on my council right now. You are a terrible diplomat, but um Um Yeah, but uh, I need to appease you, so I will take you in anyway. So what are you actually doing? Assist ruler. Plus two, plus, okay. 
Support politics. Um, let's actually do that. We need all the diplomacy we can get. We need all the diplomacy we can get. We will not break off that siege up there, or or will we? Hmm. Actually, actually, let's see. Can we split off some armies, uh, some some soldiers up here? We can actually split off a new army. Um. Do we? Jeez, the problem is if they win this siege, we'll have a problem. But if we break up this siege, oh Jesus Christ! Um, yeah, no okay, clue. We'll 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 uh, we'll take that hit. Mismanaged population. Yeah, whatever. So what we will also do is we will go here and tell him to not improve my commanders, because I think we are doing. Um, Good on my uh, on knights. Yeah, they're fantastic. We don't need that anymore. We need more troops. We need. Where is he? We need more uh, levies. So let's do that one. A secret exposed. My rival and vassal Duke Thierry has accused my cousin the Duchess Adela of having an extramarital affair with my vassal Count Victor. How could she defy the sanctity of her marriage? Um, do I want to imprison him? Oh, he has. Ooh, Jesus Christ. He has a f incredible learning. Uh, you imprison Duchess Adela. Duchess Adela, family loses opinion of you, loses opinion. It has happened. Uh, lost opinion of Duchess Adela. Lost, okay, can't just. Duchess Adela, Count Victor. This is to Duke Thierry. Uh, what the hell if I do this? This is a li little bit complicated, but I cannot lose the level of the... Uh, I will imprison her. Now everyone knows. So actually, let's have a look at our prison. Um, so I can ransom her immediately. Um, then we have these guys, I cannot ransom her, obviously not him, and uh, she will, come, uh, yeah, we, we will not get much money from that. So, uh, ransom accepted. Greetings, yes. Child of my dynasty, Burkhardt, yeah. May you grow strong and wise. I can still not... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we will lose this siege, but we'll win this one at some point. So, how are we doing on factions? Mostly we need to concern ourselves uh, with actually nothing. Actually, we are fine. W why are we fine? Growing strong. The weakness of the plague, my daughter, since her birth, has finally released its hold on her. Relief washes over me as I see Sibylla running around with all the other children. May you grow strong. So, actually, do I have any children I need to um, to take care of? So, educate child. I will educate my son, obviously. Can I give him a childhood focus? Uh, not yet, because he's only zero of age. So, uh, what is this? Uh, this is my daughter. Um, no, she ha already has a guardian. That is okay. Childhood focus. Uh, learning. Diplomacy. <clears throat> Do that one. Siege lost. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. So... What? Why? Whoa, why? What is the cause of death? What is... Was murdered by Duke Thierry? No! Just no! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, that is not good. Oh, that is not good. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
My ears avenge my death. <laughs> I'm out on a boat in a harbor in Montague when suddenly a flaming arrow soars across the sky towards us. It hits the boat with a heavy thunk and it only takes a moment before the whole boat is aflame and I throw myself in, in the cold ocean water. As my heavy clothes drag me below the surface, I try to swim, I try to reach for something to hold on to, I try to breathe. There's not a moment of doubt in my mind as to who brought this upon me, Duke Thierry, this little shit. Okay, now we have a problem. No, we definitely have a big fucking problem. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Are you freaking kidding me? So this guy needs to be our spy master again. You, you, you failed, but you will be our spy master again. Anyway, so, um... Then Marshall. Oh, Jesus freaking Christ. So you have quite a few troops. Uh, you also have quite a few troops. You will be my... Uh, you will be my... Uh, you will be my steward. So, Chancellor. Who, who did we have as Chancellor last time? You have a few troops, you are already down there. You have a few troops, you are already uh, doing something. Actually? We could get a better steward then, actually, if we, if we take this guy, because I don't really see anyone above him that we need to take into consideration. This guy is already uh, served, so... Yeah, reassign this guy then. And then we'll get the best steward we can. So she does have a few troops. Uh, then we have this guy who has quite a few troops. Uh, which means we'll probably have to assign this guy. Then we have a marsh. We are in need of a marshal. Uh, he has quite a few troops. Um, yeah, we'll probably take the other guy. So he has... Yeah, we'll, we'll, take, we'll take the one, uh, this guy here sign okay oh jesus fucking christ you are, are you kidding me are you freaking kidding me oh we will we will have a ton of factions i know it uh yeah obviously we'll have dangerous factions we are we were doing so good we were doing so freaking good but child of my dynasty yeah new heir your newborn sister yes whatever current situation terrible um Whatever, so this siege will be over. Dynasty, you became a new dynasty head. Yeah, thankfully. Faction created. Uh, now, let's finish this damned war here. Let's send these guys down there. Prisoners taken in siege. Siege won. So, let's see what we can do here. Prisoners. We have quite a few prisoners. We will not ransom any of these right now. Because we uh, need to win this war as quickly as possible. Um... Oh, Jesus Christ. So how are we doing on factions? We'll probably have one. Yeah, one slower crown authority. We cannot sway anyone because we are a freaking child. We cannot hold a feast, I think. No, you are a child. So we cannot do anything. So all our hope, all our hopes rest on our military, uh, military uh, campaigns. Oh, Jesus freaking Christ. So, please win this war quickly. I want to finish this. As fast as I can. Okay, now we need to uh, change direction here. And now we need to change direction again. And once we are over there, we'll go over there and kill these guys. Yeah, yeah, we'll be faster than you are, so, uh... Ah, Jesus Christ! Notable guest has arrived, yes, and you can go there and uh, siege this. Gain level of fame! <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a baby and I gain the level of fame. So we 
construct quite a bit of stuff over here, but we will not spend our money right now uh, because, yeah, <clears throat> we'll probably need it to hire some mercenaries. Uh, we can transfer Count Hume of Mordor to Duke Charles of Seville. Why can I do that? Oh, can I do that? Uh, then I will do that. Uh, Grand Vassal. So he will like me a little bit better. We'll do that definitely. So we don't have. Oh, Jesus Christ! Do I have? I don't. I'm, I don't have a lifestyle chosen because I'm too young. <laughs> Oh, Jesus freaking Christ. That's ah, just terrible. We are losing a little bit of money. Thankfully, not too much, but uh, still. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Victory! Yes. Uh, how are we doing on factions? Uh, yep, they will be able to send an ultimatum in exactly four months, which will be a problem. Because I can't freaking do anything about that. Um, can I? No, I can't. I can't do anything about that. Uh, let's have a look here. No, they all hate me. Though. There's no, there's no way I can do something about that. So, um, finish this. Thank you, Siege One. I now need to kick their butt again, but I probably will need to abandon this war. I, I feel like we'll need to abandon this because uh, our faction will rebel and we need to do something about that. We will need to do something about that, definitely. Yep. Uh, what are they doing? Uh, okay, we need to try to... Um, they are staying there, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, that still didn't do it, but um I don't really care. We'll now we are very close to this, so we will we'll, we'll go and lay siege to this. Uh, actually no, this is the one we want over here, so we'll go and try uh, to siege this, but pro we will probably <clears throat> We will probably face rebellion very shortly, so... Yeah, we will face rebellion. No! I will not be threatened. Uh, you lose threat, you gain... You get law... You get the law high, crown authority, you spend... Um, actually, let's consider this. Let's consider this. It might be wise to, for once... Uh, give in to their demands. Let's see what they want. They want... I lose threat. I will go high crown authority. What do we have currently? Absolute crown authority. So we have this one. Vassal levy contribution, fiddle tax contribution. Oof! No, that is a tough sell. That is a tough sell. Okay, so let's see here. <clears throat> that is a tough... That's a tough one. I mean, he's... Well, these guys... Some of these guys are just military strength. Um, they are not really a problem. They have very few soldiers. Uh, they have very few soldiers, very few soldiers. So up to this guy, it's not really a problem. So now they're starting to get to be a problem. They have oof, they have quite a few soldiers. I mean, this guy alone has uh, almost 6,000. Uh, we will not get all of that because some of these guys will rebel. They have 131% military power. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, you know what? I need to think. I need to think about this. I will end the episode here, and I need to think about this. We'll see us in the next episode, where I will have made my decision on how to deal with this. Because that's, I mean, we can win that if we're smart about it. We have four thousand gold. This will this will give us mercenaries. So let's see what is uh, what is for sale here. So we can. I would say. 
we will lose some money because we'll uh, we'll also have a problem with um, with our uh, army upkeep once we raise all troops. So we'll have a problem right there as well. But we can get I would say we can get four of these guys. So four armies of mercenaries or maybe three. But we should be able to get about ten thousand mercenaries as well. If we if we play it right we will win this but it will be a slug fest okay it will be a complete slug fest oh jesus christ <clears throat> so we need to be careful here i will i will decide between episodes and then we'll we'll do it in the next episode if we can win this it will be great it will be absolutely fantastic if we can win this we will not have to deal with factions uh, for quite a while after that but if we cannot win this we'll have a big problem Okay, so yeah, I see you in the next episode where we will where we will make a decision on how to proceed here. Um, so we have something to look forward to. If you did like uh, today's episode, then of course please leave a like below. It really helps the channel and uh, be back next time to see uh, if we go to war or not. And until then, I wish you all the best. Have a great time. Be safe and stay healthy. Bye.